Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, I will demonstrate you that how to design a photography logo from very start to the very finish. So first of all, I will show you the small description I received from the client. The name of the logo is CG Cost by Photography and the font that he want to use is Snell Round Hand and it has a very lengthy slogan. Now to generate the logo design idea, my major focus is on three elements, letter C, letter G and photography. For the photography, I am going to use a camera. Now this is the logo that I designed by using these three elements. Now it looks like a simple camera, but it isn't. Now let's break down the logo into different parts. The left side of the logo represents the letter C and the right side represents the letter G and this whole arrangement represents the camera. Now let's start with the complete design process of this logo design in Inkscape. So first of all if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then go to file, select the document properties, select the display units of your page to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width of your page to 1920 and hide to 1080 pixels like this and simply left click on this cross icon like this. Now the presence of two menus is very important in Inkscape for each and every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu simply click on this icon and the second one is align and distribute menu simply left click on this icon like this. Now click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle like this. Now it doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and assign it some stroke color or you can say some boundary color by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and clicking on this black color like this. Now we want to change the stroke width for this purpose simply click on this fill and stroke menu on the right side of your screen then go to stroke style and set the value of width to 17 pixels and press enter. Now select the selection tool and here you can see that we have an option which says when scaling objects scale the stroke width by the same proportion. But we doesn't want to change the stroke width we want to keep it constant. For this purpose simply uncheck this option by left clicking on this icon like this. And here you can see that we have the option for the width and the height. Simply set the value of width to 770 pixels and press enter and for the height simply set the value to 570 pixels and press enter. Now select edit path by nodes tool then go to path and select path effects. Simply select the path effects menu by clicking on this option. If this is not working then first click on fill and stroke menu and then again click on path effects menu and you can see that this time it's working. Then simply click on this plus icon which says add path effects and select the path effects of corners, fillet, chamfer like this. And you can see that number of options are appearing on the right side of your screen. And one of these options is radius. Simply set the value of radius to 30 pixels and press enter. Then go to path and select object to path. Now select the circle tool and to draw a perfect circle simply hold down the control key on your keyboard and draw a circle with the mouse like this. And then select the selection tool and click on this lock icon to lock the dimensional properties and set the value of height to 430 pixels and press enter. Now right click on this circle and select duplicate and for the duplicated copy set the value of height to 300 pixels and press enter. Now select all of these parts, go to align and distribute menu. From the relative to select last selected and click on this icon which says center on vertical axis and also on this one which says center on horizontal axis like this. Now again select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle like this. To differentiate between the parts we will change the color of this rectangle. So hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click on this red color like this and select the selection tool and uncheck this lock icon like this. And set the value of width to 70 pixels and press enter. Now uncheck this rectangle by clicking on the white area like this. Now hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click once on this rectangle and then again click on this one. 
Then in Align and Distribute menu, simply click on this icon which says Center on Vertical Axis and also on this one Center on Horizontal Axis like this. Now again deselect these shapes by clicking on the white area like this. Then select this red rectangle. Go to Edit and select Cut. Again go to Edit and select Paste in Place like this. Then again hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and click once on this black rectangle. Then go to Path and select Cut Path. And you can see that now the rectangle is divided into different parts. Simply select these ones and press Delete on the keyboard. Again go to Edit and select Paste in Place. Now again hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and click once on this circle. Again go to Path and select Cut Path. Again select these ones and press Delete on the keyboard. Now hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and click once on this part. And then again click on this one. Go to Path and select Combine. Now select the Pen tool and click once on this node and also on this one. Again click once on this node and also on this one like this. Now select the Pen tool. Left click once, hold down the control key and then move your mouse to the right side of your screen and again click and press enter on the keyboard. Now select the selection tool, hold down the shift key and again click on this part. In the align and distribute menu, from the relative to select last selected and click once on this which says center on horizontal axis like this. Again right click on this line and select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy in upward direction up to this point like this. Now select both of these lines, go to path and select combine. Now hold down the shift key and click once on this part, go to path and select cut path. And simply select this part and press delete on the keyboard. Now select this part with the left click of mouse, then select the pen tool and click once on this node then hold down the control key and move your mouse to the left side of your screen to draw a straight line. Then left click once and press enter. Now we are almost done with our logo. Now simply select the selection tool. Select all of these parts. Go to path and select combine. Now we want to change the size of our logo. But first of all check this option which says when scaling object scale the stroke width by the same proportion. Now we want to change the stroke width with the size of the logo. So simply check this option by left clicking once on this one like this. Now to decrease the size simply hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag your mouse in upward direction like this. Now it's time to write the name of the logo which is CG Cost by Photography. For this purpose simply for this purpose select for this purpose select this tool which says create and edit text objects left click once and write the name which is C G cost by photography select the selection tool and to increase the size of the text simply hold down the control key then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag your mouse like this as the client suggests that font must be snell round hand for this purpose simply go to your browser and write snell round hand font free download and press enter here we have the first link which says freefontsfamily.com simply left click on this one scroll down and here we have the download option simply click once on this and the download has started once it is done simply click on this small arrow and then select show in folder and here we have the font Simply right click on this and select extract files then select ok and here we have the install files. Simply right click on this bottom file and select install for all users like this. I have already installed the font so simply I will replace it by clicking on this yes option like this. Before using the font you have to restart your Inkscape. Now again select this tool which says create and edit text objects, select your text and here simply write Snell and you can see that two options are appearing. Simply click on the first one which says only Snell and from the dimensional properties 
simply click on this small arrow and select bold. Now to increase the spacing between the alphabets, here we have the option. Simply set the value to 10 pixels and press enter. Then again select the selection tool, hold down the control key and hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag your mouse towards the right side of your screen to decrease the size like this. This font isn't appearing very good but we can do nothing as it is the requirement of the client. Now it's time for the slogan. The slogan is very lengthy so I will copy paste it like this. For the slogan I will use the font Dubai. Click on this scroll down option and select light. Now I want to rotate the slogan about the logo. For this purpose, first of all I will decrease the size of this camera. For this purpose, simply select the selection tool, click once on this camera, then hold down the control key and then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag your mouse in downward direction like this. Now select the circle tool, hold down the control key and draw a random circle like this. Now go to fill and stroke menu. From the stroke style simply set the value of width to 1 pixel and press enter. Now select the selection tool, hold down the shift key and click once on this camera. Then go to align and distribute menu and select center on vertical axis and also center on horizontal axis like this. And decrease its size by holding down the control key and then holding down your left mouse button on this handle and drag your mouse toward the left side of your screen like this. Now hold down the shift key and click once on this circle, then go to text and select put on path like this. Now if you want to rotate your text freely about the circle, then first of all turn on the snapping options. So enable the snappings by clicking on this icon. Again click on this one which says snap nodes, pass and handles. Then click on this one which says snap to cast nodes rectangle corners. Then again click on this snap other points and enable both of these options. Now deselect both of these shapes by clicking on the white area like this. Then click once on this text and again click. And you can see that small plus icon is appearing. Simply drag this one at the center of the circle like this. Now you can rotate your text freely about the circle like this. Now again select create and edit text. Click once on this arrow and select normal and increase the size of your text to 30 and press enter. Now again select the selection tool, again left click and you can see that your rotation center has displaced by increasing the size. Again hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag it towards the center like this and also like this. Now go to path and select object to path. Now click once on this circle and now you have to hold down the three keys at a time. The first one is control key, the second one is shift key and the third one is your left mouse button at this handle and drag your mouse in outward direction like this. Now select edit pass by nodes tool and hold down your left mouse button at this circular icon and drag it towards this point then again on this one and towards this point like this. Now go to fill and stroke menu in the stroke style change the width to 6 pixels and press enter. And change its color by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and left clicking on this black color like this. And now this is our final logo design for CG cost by photography. Now please share your thoughts about the design in the comments section. And if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.